Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for August 19th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Count Different Arrows Sudoku 2 by Bill Murphy. Um, I guess Bill has done one of these before. Um, we have normal Sudoku rules apply. 1 to 9 in each row, column, and 3 by 3 box. Additionally, we have some arrows in the grid. These are quite long. These are not normal arrows. Um, all the cells on this arrow are not summed to 6. Don't worry. Um, the digits in a circle give the number of unique digits on the arrow. Um, so that means among all these digits, there are only six different ones. Um, and we'll see what that means uh, as we start solving. Um, it's, it's a pretty heavy restriction in this puzzle because Bill has given us quite low digits in the circles uh, for the size of the arrows. But those are the rules, and let's get started. And I had this highlighted, but if this arrow contains six distinct digits, then those six digits are the six digits in this box, and the six digits in this box, and the six digits in this box, which means the three digits that aren't on the arrow are the same in each box. Hopefully that made sense. Um, let's color these purple. So the purple digits in this box are six distinct digits. They are the digits on the arrow. We can't put a seven, or let's use six here. We can't put a six here, say, because if we had a six here, we would have seven distinct digits, and six is in our circle. So that doesn't work. What that means is these three digits that are not in purple are also not on the arrow anywhere else. And so they must be the same. And Bill has given us some roping here. Um, so this must be six. We know six is in green because it's here. And these must be five and seven. Uh, this is going to be five with a six, seven pair. And I can get rid of the coloring now for that. Um, our remaining digits here, one, two, three, four. These aren't three. Here we have one, two, eight, nine. And the twos here mean this is two. So that's going to resolve our roping. We have two, nine, eight here. So these can't be two, nine, eight, which means these are two, two, nine, eight, which means this is one. And I think that's all we can do for now with the roping. All right, let's come down to this one. Um, this one is a five. So again, these five digits, whatever they are, are, are going to be the only five digits on the line. And in each of these boxes, we have five digits on the line. So in each box, these digits are going to be the same as these digits, the same as these digits. And you'll notice in the central box, four of the digits are not on the line, and they're all given. So these must be the digits that are off the line in all the boxes. So these are three, four, five, and eight. And in this box, five must go here. Uh, this can't be three, four, eight. So this is five. Uh, and now we have roping in. We have three, four, eight like this. Uh, so whatever these two digits are with the five must be the same here and the same here. And here we can see they're one and seven. It's just a very clever setup for this puzzle. Uh, these are one and seven, which we can do. Clean up a little bit. Uh, these are two, six, nine. And these are two, six, nine. This one's the nine. And we've got a six here as well. All right. I think that's all we can do with that band. So let's look at our two here. Uh, we have two distinct digits on this arrow. So whatever these two digits are, must be these two digits and must be these two digits. Um, in particular, these are different. So if this is on the arrow, it must be this digit. And if this is on the arrow, it must be this digit. And then these will be those same digits again in some order. 
Now the green digit here can't be three. So this must be four. And that gives us eight as the pink purple digit. The magenta digit. I don't know what to call that color anymore. Uh, these were resolved, but that's seven. Uh, but now we have four eight on the arrow. Um, ah, why can't I type? Um, this would be a deadly pattern if we didn't already have the four eight here. Just caught my eye. Um, these are one five. These are three and six, which we can do. Um, and now we're just left with Sudoku at this point. Uh, this is an eight. Uh, where does six go in this column? It's not in any of those cells. It's not in these cells. So it goes in one of those. Uh, that's not as interesting as I'd hoped. Um, we don't know we have roping here, so this doesn't have to be two. If that were two, that would be very helpful. Uh, let's look at this column. We need a nine here, so that's got to be nine. Uh, in this row, we need one five seven six. One five six seven. Oh, I'm all over the place today. Um, so this has to be a five. This is a naked single here. Sees all the other digits. Um, these are one six and seven, which we can actually go ahead and do. That's not six, so this is six now. Uh, three and one are resolved. This is an eight, so this is eight. Now we've got two nine in the central column. And this is also two or nine with a nine there. These are five and nine. That's gonna resolve our five one here. These are one and two. These are four, seven, eight. Uh, there's a seven up there. And then the rest of this should just resolve. And that's the solution. Um, I really like this puzzle. Um, I, I like what Bill did with the roping up here. Just a very clever puzzle and a little bit different in each band, which I always appreciate. So hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, let us know how you did in the comments. I will see you next time.